Whether or not feces is rubbed all over the walls means nothing to the ultra squeegee. Hey, hello, everybody. Grace to place. We're back with more house flippers. Preparing to flip some houses. Not really to make money, just to have fun, apparently. Right now, I was talking to a bunch of buddies about it. It looks like you don't really get a big adjustment for doing stuff with the renovated houses, potentially. They're, like, updating the game secretly. <laughs> so things change every once in a while. You really never know when. But again, it's in, like, super beta right now. So... This is early stuff, but I really like the direction that they're going with it. Over here in the mission area, well actually first, one of the things that I do want to do is I want to grind out a couple of missions over here for us so we can get the bungalow new puzzles. Uh, what puzzles are there? I, I don't, I have no clue. We've got around 10 grand. We definitely want some additional money to be able to get things done inside the house. Like, no matter what we do, I think we're going to want at least an extra... I don't know, I would say like an extra five to ten grand so that we can get stuff done inside the house. Over here, we've got two different missions right now. We have the artist's house. Hello, I bought a house, formerly owned by an artist. You poor soul. I'm just kidding. I love art. I'm just no good at it. She loved expressive colors. I did not. The harsh colors are very tiring me. And in this house, all is painted harsh colors. Please paint the rooms for subdued shades. It's amazing how I'm able to read this because I, like, I don't know how to say it. I read in my head a lot quicker than I read out loud. So I have a tendency to just kind of ad lib stuff as I read it. I have been living in this house for a month and still have to wonder which door leads to the living room. Please insert the sliding door into the living room. I will insert all kinds of stuff into the living room. Let's freaking do it. Michael Brand wants his house to not look like crap. We're going to make it happen. Also, I saw some of your disgusting home stories, including uh, rats and, uh, and the like. Uh, luckily, you know, I've never had to deal with rats, although I do have another story I'll tell you. Don't worry, this story is not disgusting, so you don't have to worry about uh, projectile vomiting your sandwich all over the wall or whatever. So, one of the things that I remember, we're going to need light lemon. So, let's go ahead and do that while I'm talking about this. One of the things that I remember is an instance I had with bees. Yes, bees. In my area, around the house, uh, there's a lot of landscaped plants, and that's on purpose. I love landscaping. It's actually uh, something I used to do for part-time businessy stuff, I'll call it. And so there's a lot of landscaping around our house. So we get a lot of bees, like naturally. And it's good. I, I love the bees. Bees are actually fantastic creatures. They don't really do very much besides, like, look cool and pollinate flowers for us and all that there, have you? They don't really, I've never been attacked by bees or anything like that. So, you know, they're all over the place. So I was outside one day mowing the lawn and a bee landed on me. And I was like, oh, bee isn't that cute. And I didn't really think much of it. I just kind of, like, brushed him away, and he just kind of went his own way. And then another bee landed on me. And I was like, man, that's unusual. Two bees landing on old gray in a row. Something must be wrong here. So I followed it with my eyes, and I saw it land up into the uh, upper corner of my roof and disappear. And I was like, wait a minute. So I decided to go into the attic which is where that little corner of the house was. And lo and behold, the bees had taken over the attic. To what level, you may ask, did they take over the attic? There was... So the attic height is about six feet in our attic, uh, from the floor to the ceiling. They had crafted honeycomb from the floor to the ceiling. Six foot tall honeycombs. Slabs. It, it, was, it wasn't like a beehive that you would think. They were like slabs, like giant cuts of beef hanging from the ceiling. And there was countless bees. And it was crazy because they were like completely silent. Like you would have never, like I was shining my light on them. And if I didn't shine my light on them, I wouldn't have known that they were there. They didn't, there was no like humming or droning or nothing. So I was like, mother of Jesus, what do I do? So, uh... I got the bright idea. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can get rid of them myself. So I suited up 
in the only way I knew how, which was uh, essentially in like the wardrobe that you would rob a 7-Eleven in, or I had the black hoodie and like sunglasses. It, it was like, you know, it was all like, uh, it was all taped up. I had duct tape all around it. Y you know what I'm talking about. It's like, that's not going to do anything for bees if you piss them off. Long story short, I pissed them off and they didn't like it and I ran for my life. So I hired a guy who was a wildlife removal expert and remove the wildlife he did. And he ended up, he said it was, I mean, obviously, you know, this was a guess at the time, but he pulled out right around a hundred pounds of honey, um, from the inside. And then obviously he had to pull out all the honeycomb and everything as well. So that was my bee story. Uh, and you know, we can't, unfortunately, we can't live in harmony. There, there's nothing, there's nothing I could have done. I, there's no way that I can, that I can allow the bees to live up there because he mentioned they would keep making honey and the honey would get so heavy that it would eventually, you know, pour down through the ceiling. And then obviously the honey is sweet and it would attract all kinds of other beings. Don't want any of it, man. So that's just another story for me to you. If you guys have additional stories, like I said, leave them in the comments section because I friggin' love them. Over here with the light peachy, very earth toned. This is kind of like what my house is painted like. Um, so this shade is very, very near and dear to my heart. Now that said, I actually really enjoy the green in this room. Uh, if I if I had a house that had this green naturally in it, I don't think I would change it. It's amazing, and not only that. Look at the bed over here, guys. The bed completely matches. I mean, I can't believe this. I can't believe this guy wants to change the coloration. He's already the, the home decorating's already been done for him. You know what? I think we may get this in one bucket. I don't know. I can't say for sure. Yeah, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Now, someone said, Gray, sell the leftover buckets of paint. See if you can sell the leftover buckets of paint. Okay. Let's try it real quick. We just got done with this room. No big deal. Now, do they even give us the sail gun? Oh, they don't. See, so we can't even sell it here because we don't have the sail gun. We may be able to do it when we buy the house because when you buy a house, it looks like you get access to all the different items that you can possibly have. What do you want in here? You want a radiator and you want white color. What is like, what is happening here? It's like the dude someone started, like the homeowner was like, you know what? I could save a bunch of money. If I paint this myself, and then they started painting it, and they were like, "Screw this! This is uh, now I understand why why people charge money to paint rooms." I feel the same way. I hate painting so much. I would totally pay someone to do it for me. Now installing radiators, I'm okay with that. I actually like stuff like this. This is okay. I uh, actually one of my old hobbies was doing small engines, just repairing and having fun with small engines, weed whackers. Trimmers, which is which is basically just a weed whacker, just depends on where in the United States you are, I guess they call it. Edgers, blowers, uh, which call it? You know, the thing that actually cuts the lawn. Lawnmowers. <laughs> Every once in a while. Every once in a while. That's how you know you're getting older. The words get away from me. All right, so we got our can of white paint. Let's go ahead and light this place up real quick. I think we're probably going to need a secondary can of white paint. I'm just getting that feeling right now. We're already way past halfway with the paint bucket. And we, well, to be fair, a lot of it is, now that's a full wall. I was gonna say, it's a little bit smaller up there, but next to the oven and stuff like that, that is very much a full wall. What do you guys think? Is this, is this an appropriate change in scenery? Would you go from the dark, what, what do you consider, what color is this? That's like a brown, isn't it? Or is that like a, uh, I don't know what to call that, like a burnt auburn or something. I always think it's funny when, uh, when like certain people have all the different awesome vocabulary chunklets for the different colors. So like, it's not white, it's like mother of pearl or like washed shell or something like that. All right, now I wonder if you get like a big bonus for doing a full completion. So you notice right now it's, it would give us 820. Well, actually, hold on. Let's uh, let's click on this. Yeah, 820 to complete at 65%. But let's see what happens if we go for the full 100%. All right, we need to fix up some electrical outlets in here. No big deal, though. No big deal. I definitely would like to see uh, a greater range in like things that you have to fix. Like I know. Um, 
it was in the trailer. There's like, it shows like, like termites or roaches or something like that. And that, like that kind of stuff would be awesome. Like if you have to deal with all that, you're knocking down walls and you find all kinds of crazy crap inside you got to deal with. That would be pretty sweet. This bed over here, we're probably going to have to move this. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and move that right over there. Yep, right over here because there's a craptastic outlet hiding itself. Hiding itself in the background. It's like, no, Gray, don't make me bright and shiny. Too bad, Outlet. You think you can look sad at me? This place looks homeless because you look like crap. But don't worry. We're going to polish you up nice and tidy. It's like having a kid that doesn't want to get his hair cut. It's all scraggly and stuff like that. And you give him a crew cut. See, look at that. Looking freaking nice and tidy right now. I'll grab this bed. Put it right back over here. Going from the yellow to the light blue. I'm not going to lie. The yellow is so cheery. I'm a big fan of the color yellow. I love the color yellow. I think it goes with almost everything. But uh, like I said, we're dealing with someone over here who wants, um, shall we say, a bit more bland coloration in the housing structure. Although light blue is still pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Kind of blends in with the ceiling, though. Alrighty. And this house is done. So, 1262, it didn't really go up. Like, it, it, there's no bonus. It just looks like it went up an appropriate amount from getting 65% done to 100% done. That said, I don't know how many missions we technically get. You know what I mean? So, like, it may be good to try and get as much money as you can for every mission. Help to clean big house, please. Hello, I bought quite big house to refresh. Please throw, throw out all trashes and clean up. And then do some things, seven radiators, light blue color. You got it. A big house. I'm very curious about this. How big do the houses get? Pretty good size house. Not gonna lie. Pretty good size house. Lovely sunflower looking critters over here. Let us go inside and dispose of some trash. There's some cleaning that needs to be done as well. Now, what sort of items do we get? Uh, we don't get the cellar thing again. All we get is a paintbrush uh, and then our hand and the cleany tool. So let's go ahead and start disposing of everything that we can. You boys like to clean the trashes? I like to clean the trashes. That's what we're doing right up in here. There's trashes everywhere, man. One over here, one over there. There's only three in this room, actually. It's probably better that we just, like, focus on one room and complete it to 100%. But I almost feel like while I have my trash fingers selected, I'm going to go through and grab all the ones I can. There's 10 in here. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Man, we're making th that money for this one. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Okay, toilets and then some other stuff. All right. So, good. I think we're feeling a lot better. So now we got to clean up some dirt. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. That's not what I want to use. I want to use the number... There it is. The number seven. Clean up the dirt. Zero percent. I'm cleaning up dirt. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be, like, disappearing dirt? Like, miraculously? I feel like you should be disappearing miraculously. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Let's go into the kitchen. How about in here? Does dirt get cleaned on this side? Oh, it sure does. It gets cleaned nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and close the door over here. Ah, and there you go. Look, there's some extra stainage sitting way up top that you can very clearly see. We're going to go in that other room shortly. But first, let's go ahead and grab all the... Well, grab. Let's go ahead and eradicate all of this additional dirt. And I still have some upgrades that we need to get. Oh, there's some... Look, what in the hell happened in the sink over there? It's like someone's projectile vomiting into the sink. All right. One room down. We already got 1600 bucks. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Okay, what do we got up in here? Radiators. Oh, and we got to do some painting in here. All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and grab all the dirt that we can out of here. All right, we need a new radiator. I think we're going to be able to fit it back there with no problems. There's nothing to put in on that side. Yeah, see, as long as I can reach all the stuff over here, it's not a huge deal. We'd be able to slide that in. We'd be able to slide that in real smooth. Real easy. The bed wouldn't even know that we slid it in. The bed would be like, what happened when I wasn't looking? Suddenly a radiator was slid into a place that I didn't think it would fit. That's right, bed. You think you know what time it is? I'll tell you what freaking time it is. Time to brighten up the room. 
with some delicious light blue coloration. I don't know if we can get it in one can of paint. I'm trying. It's going to be close, man. You can see that can of paint going down big time. But we have we have some small wall chunklets. Like over here, these ones don't use up that much paint right there. So we should do okay. I think this is going to be our last. Oh no, okay. We may get one more suctioning of paint onto the paintbrush, but I still don't think we can finish it. Yeah, we couldn't do it. I had to buy another can of paint. Just barely, too. Like, <laughs> it it almost wasn't even worth it. There is some dirt, it looks like. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, it's like looming in one of these corners over here. Only 50%? Would have figured we would have done better than that. We'll have to remember that we have a... I'll probably forget. But that was a good thing. I have to remember we have a can of light blue paint sitting inside of that room just in case anyone else wants some light blue paint anyway let's go ahead uh yeah we'll close that door let's go moving over here up oh, look at this lots of cleaning that needs to get done only 11 percent we barely scratched the surface of the whoa glitchy dirt death what's going on over here i think i got it it was glitching through the wall um so I i'll never really know for sure but yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we got it. Now, sometimes what you get is you get dirt that clips through the wall, so it counts in both rooms, I noticed. So what happens is, like, I'll be in a room, and I'll have, like, you know, 99% of the dirt clean, and I'll be like, where's the last bit of dirt? I'll be flipping out, trying to find it, going all crazy and whatnot. Really, what you gotta do is you gotta go into one of the other rooms, and you gotta clean it from there, like right over here, and you have to be able to see the dirt. So over here, we were able to get that one. Let's go ahead and put some of the, what do we need in here? Radiator and a toilet. Yeah, see how it says, see how it says 96% dirt, but there's no dirt around? The other thing that I found that you can do is sometimes, yeah, right there. Sometimes if you move stuff, it'll count, I don't know why, but it counts that as like you cleaning the object. And then you won't be stuck at like 96%. Anyway, let's put some new stuff in here. All right, radiator. This is our biggest job that we've ever had. We're already at four grand and we're like halfway done. This is gonna be a fantastic job. All right, a brand new toilet. Now I wonder, can we get like a better toilet than we've been doing? Or is there only, only one type of toilet? I think there's just one type. Um, so let's go ahead and grab it. Throw it in over here. Start setting this up. Now, if I put in, let's say, the toilet paper holder, do I get additional money, I wonder? I mean, it's super cheap, so I guess there's no reason not to do it. Notice how there's no toilet paper holder over here? Come on, man, what are you going to do? You're just going to put it on the floor next to you? you? need a toilet paper holder. So, 4016 Let's go ahead and spend the $3. We can do it. I, we're going to live, trust me. And, uh... Don't put it next to the radiator. Was that bad if I put it next to the radiator? I, I like it feels weird though. Like it needs to go on a wall, like on the side. I don't I don't think I've ever had it like next to me like this. That'd be weird. Probably it's probably a fire hazard, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't care. Uh crap. I wasn't paying attention. 4167. Hold on. We're gonna do the double toilet paper roll. 4167. Okay, it didn't get us anything extra for having double toilet paper rolls. So, was that an extra $3? I totally should have been paying attention. What was I doing? It's like I'm playing a game or something like that. What do I think about going to have fun over here? This is all about numerics and stuff. So, if you're a very dirty individual, you now have the double toilet paper stack. I think a lot of people would get a lot of use out of that. That's probably going to be the new trend. Uh, the new modern trend. Let's go into this room because this room looks like absolute garbage. We have, at the very least, a lot of clean that has to get done. And we need another radiator. Now, sometimes, not always, but sometimes there's like dirt on the cloth. And you can clean up the cloth with the handy dandy squeegee. I don't ask no questions. I just get paid for my hard work, okay? All right, we're going to try something real quick. $43.95. Let's just grab... What do I want to grab? How about like a, this is like a cheap chair? Here we go, $28. $43.95, $28 chair. $43.95. Okay, so nothing happened. We put this down. We didn't get any additional benefit from it. So now these people have a... Uh, they have a nice free thing over here. I don't think that we lost any money, though, either. Uh, let's go ahead and head out of here and continue finishing up... With really? 
Let's go out of here and continue finishing up with the rest of the house and collect our check. Let me ask you boys, what's your favorite part of the game so far? Do you like the installation part? The decorating part? The painting part? The cleaning part? What I feel would be cool, and I think this is coming, like, like being able to upgrade your stuff, is like being able to buy like a, a, a paint gun or something like that, you know what I mean? So that we can paint like even faster. Or buying like a, a special cleaning tool that allows us to clean like a lot more area and stuff like that. I think something like that would be friggin' awesome. Especially because in these types of games, like one of the cool things that you can do, and one of the reasons I love them, is because you can spend your hard-earned money on stuff to make your life easier to make more money. Which basically is the purpose of a lot of these like simulative tycoon -y style of games. We could close our, our job out, but why do that, man? We're gonna we're gonna go for the big money for this. Let's continue cleaning up. Look at the horror that awaits us in this room over here. Another radiator and a lot of cleaning needs to get done. Excuse me for a moment while I squeegee the living hell out of this whole place. All right, man, we're almost done. We've got another horrifying room over here. A lot of dirt, one radiator, not such a big problem really. Out of all the things that I feel are, that the things that you can do in the game, I think that the easiest thing is probably the cleaning portion. The painting definitely takes the longest. I mean, I guess it depends on the room. But for me, I feel like it definitely takes the longest. Oh, we get another, we get another upgrade. I think I'm almost fully upgraded over here. More range or fast hands? Fast hands. 50% high. Oh, I can get them both. There we go. I've got everything now. I have every single upgrade you could possibly get. So now, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Now we're getting there. I know that the upgrades are like, remember how I was talking about like, you know, it'd be cool if you can get different equipment. Like the upgrades kind of simulate that. But I mean like a, a larger radius of cleaning or something like that. So 91% dirt. It's showing... There it is. I was going to say, it's showing some something somewhere. Okay, so this is an instance right now where we have to move something, and that'll probably clean it up. So let's try it. Yep, see how it was at 96%? We moved something, and now it's at 100 Perfect. Let's go ahead and put this right back over there. There we go. Put a radiator down. 75% done. So there's still a bit more to do. All right. This is it. The last room. I'm going to go ahead and close the door over here. I'm pretty sure that this is going to get us the 100%. $5,000. Now, what's odd is, I feel like, I feel like we haven't, no, there's definitely got to be another room. Because it's, we're at 78% right now. But I feel like, shouldn't we be getting like $10,000 when we're done here? I feel like we should be getting like $10,000 when we're done. Um, because we were pretty close to that, weren't we? When we had our, um, when we were at like 50% or so, when we had like $4,000 or $5,000 right around. Ready for me to blow your guys' mind? I remembered the light blue can of paint that I bought. Eh? You were thinking to yourself, you're like, Gray has to paint another room light blue, but he's gonna forget. Not today, baby. Look at this. How freaking, how freaking good am I right now? This is it. That's the one time, okay? This is not gonna happen again, all right? So, this is the only time ever that I will legitimately be efficient with my use of bringing buckets around. Let's go ahead and paint this thing out of here and then collect our hot delicious cash all right so we did end up having to buy another can of paint which is unfortunate but it's why am i cleaning the can of paint <clears throat> let us not clean the can of paint but it definitely saved us some money because we would have bought two cans of paint i mean to be fair it's not it's not like this is like an incredible cost or something like that that we're spending on all this paint and there we go 100 percent, seventy five hundred dollars that was definitely our biggest job Definitely our biggest job. Very happy about that. That's going to move us. That's going to propel us way farther ahead so we can get to that next home. What's the next job we have over here? I hope it's something cool. House to refresh. I bought a house. I'd like to move in ASAP. So make the rooms clean and tidy. Wall and corridor is ugly and should paint on. How about I destroy the wall? That works pretty good too. Toilet's dirty. Throw it out. Buy a new one. Radiators. Things like that. All right. Let's hit this up real quick and make that dollar. Oh. Look at this. There's like a giant outdoor area that we have to do. We've never done that before. We've always had to clean the inside of the house, not the outside of the house. You gotta be kidding me. 
So, oh, oh, or is it just because we're outside and it mentions that? Oh, mother of God. Yeah, when you're outdoor, it shows all this, but I don't think, does any of this count, I wonder? Yeah, it just shows everything is outdoor. All right. I'm gonna go around here in classic way. I'm gonna go ahead and pick all this up real fast. This house is a freaking disaster. It's absolutely disgusting and there's chunks everywhere. How much more sunny yellow or white? Sunny yellow is what it's gonna be. If, if the choice is mine, we're going sunny yellow. Six trash in here. Let's go ahead and find them all. You get a lot of money for throwing out trash, man. I want a job where it's just throwing out the garbage because the garbage is like big money. Oh, oh, do we get, um, let's find out. No, we don't get, we don't get the thing. You, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh, the thing that allows you to sell items. We don't get anything like that, unfortunately. Time to make this place spick and span, especially with our highly upgraded squeegee tool right now. You can see whether or not feces is rubbed all over the walls means nothing to the ultra squeegee the ultra squeegee does whatever the hell it wants 53 percent removed in this little area let us go ahead and truck ourselves over this way there should be something looming there it is i knew there was something on the ground over there this looks like there's more over here too into this room what should we find inside Viscous human bodily fluids laying everywhere in a most disgusting fashion. 61%. Ah, I think I know where a bunch of the rest of it is. Right over here. All right, we got a bunch of that done. Uh, it's still showing some additionals. We can probably move some of these items around and get rid of some of the, some of the extra dirt. Can I kind of move? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right over here. Look, it's like hiding. On the corners of the windows. So we're going to have to check the corners of the windows because you get goo hiding over there. All right. That's pretty good. I figure picking something up and moving it should get us. Uh, yep. Right there. I was going to say should get us done. Put some radiators in. I know that you should paint before you install the radiator, but I'm going to take advantage <laughs> of the little intricacies of the game and go ahead and abuse the system as much as possible. 60% and again, you don't have to it's unfortunate, but you don't have to paint these little columns over here So the inside of your window can look like hammered crap Just so long here we go just so long as those parts are looking friggin sweet. Let's go ahead over here What do you think kitchen next? Yeah, let's do the kitchen. We're already at three thousand dollars for this one So I'm getting done painting this room sunny yellow. I Really don't feel like this color is sunny yellow Maybe it's just me. It feels more like slightly vomity yellow. Uh, or maybe even an orange or something. But it doesn't feel... It does not at all feel like a sunny yellow. When I see a sunny yellow, I feel like there should be like that bright sunny feeling. So over here we have sunny orange. Not sunny yellow, but sunny orange. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. We've got sunny yellow, sunny orange. I have a feeling that this is going to feel more bright and airy. Hold on, let's uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our painty brush. Now, how does this feel for you? Uh, it's a little bit more sunny. This is definitely more sunny. Ah, uh, look, look as as with the power of sorcery, we destroy the architecture of the house by adding paint. How does it happen? I don't know. I have no clue. There's some Doctor Strange level crap going on over here. Already at $6,300. We could turn this in right now, but like I said, I want to see it through. I want us to get our pocketbook and our wallet and our money clip or whatever you hold your money in as fat as possible. Not gonna lie. Inside of this bathroom. Looks like someone anally detonated all over the walls over here. But you know what? This is what we get paid the big bucks for. Like, if I had to come in, well, to be fair, it's never as easy as just throwing a squeegee all over everything. But if somehow this translated to real life and I had to just come in and squeegee everything and make like $10,000 to do it, I would be all over that. I don't care how much manual labor it takes. That is worth it. 
That is worth it every day because, well, to be fair, like I said, we're using the power of uh, video game science to make this happen. 94%, so you guys know what has to happen. We have to go ahead and discombobulate the room slightly. Boom, 98% right there because we, <laughs> because we went ahead and moved this. I don't know why. And then this over here, oh, that didn't count. That didn't do it, eh? All right, all right. Well, how about this shower? It's the only thing left I can move. Huh. That didn't do it either. Oh, wow, it is absolutely disgusting in here. Like, I almost want to retile this place because the tile in here is dreadful. Found it. It's on the window. What happens if we open the window? Oh, it just moves it. All right. I didn't know if the dirt would disappear. Oh, come on. See that? Now, now I probably have to do this again. Yep, right there. That's where it was. In fact, I'm going to move you over here because I have to get in here and put a radiator down anyway. All right, we got to put this back over here so that we can put the new toilet in. Over by the bathroom area. Man, there's so many cool things that you can buy. I want to get a house so that, like, I want to get a, a big house, though. Like, a, a, I want to be, a, I want to make a lot of money and then get us a big house so we can, like, really outfit it with the most modern, cool stuff. All right, bathroom is totally done. I think there's just one room left. Uh, and it's this disaster over here. We got to clean a bunch of stuff, so let's go ahead and grab out the, ulti oh, the ultimate squeegee. You can see there's blood and ass all over this, but luckily, fabric or not, the Ultima squeegee 10,000 gets out all of your disgusting, uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of fluids we want to call these, penile fluids or uh, other things that kind of latch themselves onto the various fabrics and wood grain and there have you. Man, we're at $8,200 right now. $8,200. And painting always seems to get us the big money. This may be a $10,000 job. $84.49. And I think, yep, the only thing left is to paint. Moody blue. Moody blue. So is this like, is this like the blue color for when you're sad? Or, oh, wow, that's a dark blue. That's a dark, dark blue. How do you guys feel about this blue? It's almost like a midnight blue. Hold on, let's, ch let's check this out over here. Oh, wow. That is going to close in the space a little bit. But I guess if you're going for that real serious, studious tone, it may be, it may be all right. 9,000, man. I, I don't know. I think we may get it. We may get the $10,000 job over here. We're at 92%, so there's not much left to do. But again, I feel like our painting is rewarded very, very highly. So let's go ahead and continue finishing everything up. We're 44 out of 78 paint panels done over here. As efficient as we were being with paint, I don't think that buying the paint even comes out of our pocket when we're doing the jobs quite yet. I think that the pool of money, the quest pool of money, is like segregated from any other costs. We might get there, man. 71. Oh, we're, are you serious? Are you serious right now? All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and buy one more moody blue, I guess. I was going to say, I thought maybe we were, we were going to get it with the one paint can, but it was not to be. 71, 72. We're going to finish up here in just a second. Here it is. Five, six. So we're done. I finished the rest of the way just because I felt necessary. $9,823. Oh, yeah. Woo. And now we're at twenty-seven grand. So now, again, I don't know why I walked in there. Now we could buy that next house for sure. What's our next mail? Uh, still the split room. So I'm going to let that go for right now. Now we can get in here. We can buy that $21,000 house, and we still have a lot of money left over to do something cool with it. Anyway, guys, hope you're enjoying House Flipper. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.